This is Winston. He's a rescue dog, and he gets great satellite reception on this. This is he likes. He's a football fan. No, he just got <laughs> neutered. Uh, and so in this video, we're going to go over some tips that you can use if you have a dog that likes to jump up on you, the guardian, when you come home. Now, I, right there, I was trying to get him aroused, but he's only been the home for a week. He got uh, neutered, and so I don't want. There we go. Yes. So that's what I want. That's actually what I, not what we want on regular, but we want it for this video. He's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> so when we come home, when Winston likes to jump up is when he is overly excited or aroused. And that's a very normal thing. So we're gonna go over a couple of different methods that you can do. Now, you have, uh, you, you just, do you have a screen door and an inside door or just, a, just an inside door? Just the inside door. Okay, there we go. So now if I'm holding the treats like I am now, I'm lure, I just lure, I cause this by holding mm -hmm. the treats up here. All the fun and excitement, they want to lick her or, you know, and jump up on us, and we turn our hand, we say, no, listen, don't do that. All the tension's validating and rewarding for dogs. So one of the methods that you like to do when you come in is I have treats in both hands. So when I come in, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna open the door and I'm immediately put my hands down here. Now let's go show good camel puppies. This is Los Angeles after all, buddy. You should be a good dog. You should understand how to have video done. So if I keep wanting to hold my hands up here or I don't have anything in my hands, he wants to jump up and lick my face. So that's where the reward is. So if I have treats in my hands, so I come in, and where is he targeting? He's targeting my hand. I'm gonna turn back the camera so you can see it. And I have treats in both hands. Now at first, I might give him tr treats almost nonstop. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to outlast his excitement. If he's overexcited, I wanna give him treats so fast that he doesn't need to jump, he doesn't wanna jump up because the treats are being distributed really quickly. Eventually what you wanna do is then I give him a treat I show him that I have the treats here, and I wait one second, then I give him the treat for the next hand. Wait one second, then I give him the treat in the next hand. This is not over usually the first visit, this is multiple visits. Eventually it's a one, two. Now when I usually, after a while, what I want the dog to do is sit. Yes. So now when we come home, we're really, the dog's really excited. We've been gone, he's very aroused, he wants to jump up, he wants to say, I'm really happy to see you. And that excitement causes a lot of the jumping behavior. So that's not the best time to teach a dog the behavior we want. Yes, most of us don't teach dogs how we want them to behave. We just get mad when they don't do what we haven't taught them in the most advanced situation possible. Surgeons don't learn how to operate by slicing people open and figuring it out, but this is what we do for dogs a lot. So what I'd like you to do is, let's say that right here is the doorway, and this is the inside of the house, the door opens here, here's outside. I'll just walk over here, Winston, sit, yes, which is his mark word, and give him a treat. Then we walk away. I haven't left the house. I'm just simulating walking to the area where, where I want him to sit. This is the door. Sit. Yes. Give him a treat. And I walk away. So I'm teaching him at this door area. This is what I like to do. If you come and sit over here, I'm going to give you a treat. But we're taking away all the excitement of when we come home. Mm. So I would do this for maybe 15 treats, maybe five times a day. Shouldn't take you longer than a minute each time. After a while, you, go, you walk over here. And Winston's just gonna do this. Yes. And he's just gonna sit automatically because you've repped it enough times and you're saying the mark word when his butt hits the ground so he knows that's what you want. So now we're, we've given him one stage of at the door what my guardian wants me to do is sit. Mm -hmm. Is that gonna stop him from jumping? Absolutely not. Because now I have the excitement. But now we're actually teaching him how we wanna behave. So then what, the next stage is what I would do is I would actually go out the door, close the door, open the door, come in, sit. Yes, give him a treat. Walk out the door, close the door, wait a second, open the door. If he's still sitting, give him a treat. We'll go ahead and throw a treat over there and get you up. And so let's say you walk into your place. So exit your place, then walk back in. Winston, sit. Yes, and give him a treat. So the first stage is just teaching him to sit while we're in the house and just walking in that area. There's no excitement. Second stage, we're recreating what happens when we leave. We go the door, the door closes, the door opens. But I haven't been gone for a long time, so we haven't built all that excitement. Mm. And eventually then you can do it, you go outside, and maybe wait a couple minutes, and then come right back inside, sit. Yes. Remember, get that treat in his mouth in about two seconds, so it's better to have them in your hands, and keep your hands down here. So after a while, if you look where he's, where he's looking, he's looking at my hands. We can't see what the cone, come here, buddy. <laughs> Poor <Sit>. thing. <laughs> so, but if you always have treats in your hands when you come in, and this is why we went over hand targeting earlier in the session. Sit. Yes. And I give him that treat. 
So the first stage is just to walk over there maybe three to five times with about 10 or 15 treats, sit, then walk away, sit, he sit. When he sits, yes, and walk away. Um, the second stage, yes, is to walk through the door, close it, then open it right away, come back in, and do that for like maybe 10 treats or so, three to five times a day. Maybe that's the second day. The third day, you walk out and you stay maybe five minutes outside. You know, you know have some tea, uh, whatever it is, and give him, so he's a little bit excited, but not gossiping off the walls. Then when you come in, first thing you do is sit, and if he wants to, if he starts jumping right away, as soon as you come in, have your hands down here and go straight to his mouth and give him the treat. I don't, I want him to sit, but I'm more interested in not having him jump up than having him not sit. So you give him the first one, and he's like, oh, she's got treats, then sit, yes, and then give him a treat. And then what I would do is wait a second, this is kind of what I talked about feeding, one second, yes, while he's remaining in a sit. So I wait one second, one second again, yes, and then maybe the next time I leave, I wait for two, I give him the first treat right away, and I my hands, I enter the house, my hands are low, so he doesn't want to jump, he's looking for my hands. Give him, sit, if he sits, yes, give him that treat, and then I put my hand back down here, he's looking at my hands, I wait two seconds this time, yes, give him the treat, wait two seconds, yes, give him the treat, work up three four, second, four second, five seconds. Um, now eventually, one of these days when you walk through the door, he's just gonna sit on his own. This is what we call an auto sit, and we'll, for this we want to do what we call a jackpot which is rewarding him with like five treats in a row. So let's say, come in, let's say I come in the house and he automatically, yes. We want Winston saying, what did I just do? I just got five treats. I'm not saying yes five times, <laughs> I said yes once. But he just did the action that we want without him asking to, unprompted. Mm -hmm. So I want to make, give it a big reward. So he's like, so if I come to the door and sit down, you're going to give me five treats? Not every time but the first couple times that he does it on his own. And again, you're gonna have treats in your hand, and at first you're gonna wait one second before you give each treat, then two seconds. But if you get to go from five seconds to seven seconds, at six seconds he jumps up, back up to five seconds, do that a couple times, yes. And then go to six seconds. Always go at the dog's pace. And every once in a while you do a one second delay, kind of make it throw in some easy ones. But eventually you wanna to get to the point where you walk in and you're, he's sitting and you're waiting for up to 30 seconds, but you've gotten there very progressive. It might take six, 10, 12 sessions. But at the end of 30 seconds, yes, and I give them a treat. Why 30 seconds? The first 30 seconds is when they're all crazy spazzy. Mm -hmm. That's when he's most likely to jump. So now he's like, if I just sit here, and I've done it very progressive, one second at a time, thank you for the demonstration, and eventually we get to the point where it's 30 seconds, he's sitting there, He's you've taught him what you want him to do, he's doing it on his own accord because he gets a reward for it, and then at the end of that 30 seconds, you give him one treat. I have no problems. I like giving a lot of treats, so I have no problems with it. But giving a treat every time you come in for sitting down, that's really good behavior. And then eventually when your guests come in, that's kind of what I'm going to do because I do that for my mom and dad. So why wouldn't I do it for other people as well? Winston. So the, the synopsis of this is go slow at your dog's pace. Teach your dog how you want to behave and then make each step easy. Just a little bit more challenging than the previous step and work your way up to where you want to be. Winston, come here, buddy. And eventually your dog will do what you want because he's been rewarded for doing so. And this is the power of positive dog training. This is my buddy Winston, and these are some tips and tricks you can use if your dog likes to jump up on you when you arrive home. <laughs>